Before we kick this off, yo, what up? It's Ro with Grows the Best. If you like this content, I'm getting it out as fast as you can. Like, share, subscribe. You know I appreciate that very much. And uh, I hope you like this little interlude. The room's almost done. Let's get to it. Let me show you how we do this. shot what we going on here this is our cheap connection here for our humidity control 70 pint ideal air and a dehu but we need it this will get strung up that runs to that 1858 inch we talked about that in the last video got some new drippers because Shout out Netafim, but, and shout out Floraflex on coming through with, uh, the parts that I lost, and, uh, some easy access, and front row rag, that's where we're gonna be running right there. Shout out Rodan Block, uh, you know, Hawthorne in general. Anyways, let's get to it. Now that the second table's built, this is essentially, I'm not opening these yet, but this will be the setup. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. They'll start in these alone, and we'll put them on the slabs once they get rooted up real good. So back here, we got a backing breaker, uh, <coughs> anti-siphon. So what's gonna happen is <coughs> we have, two drip emitters. I'm sorry, these are drip emitters. We have two drip, dripper stakes, so 48 in total. I'm sorry, double that. That will uh, go into each block. So we're, I don't wanna get these wet until we're ready. Ready, ready, but right here. I have the solenoid manually turned on because the Aqua X controller is not uh, set up yet until it's, it's, these are all installed and set on the timer but if we go ahead and put some water in here that'll clean the lines out right there now we got way too much pressure but I opened it pretty heavy anyways Testing some drip emitters, which come down, and I have a spot connection here, and this drainage for this tank, or table, will all go to the catch basin to check our runoff. Now what I really like about this setup is, so we got two Gavita LE 1700 East Daisy Chain master controller over here and <clears throat> so these are eight foot by two tables that I built aluminum and what's cool with this setup is they're perfectly four by four they say uh, five by five for flour, uh, vegging but that's how we set it up because it's a very tiny room I can pull this out like so. Now this won't be here, obviously. Come around here. Everything's still connected. Got my whole aisle way to walk through all the way around. And then boom. All the way over here. So I can easily work around these points. We'll hang trellis netting, obviously, obviously here on both. But what's cool with this connection, even though I haven't finished it yet, is we have full use of our lights with these benches. I easily roll on the casters. Fans are running on a timer right now. That's the intake. 
Let's go check out what we got on the other side. And that's about it. So the Aqua X controller all needs to be set up once those are done. All this needs tidied up still, but as before, tap, tap pump with the house filter. We're gonna have to put an RO in. This is the connection that you saw that will get hung up nicely for the ideal air. So, still gotta add three more stones to our mixing right there. So like right now, this is shut off, our tap. So I have this closed, so it's not gonna fill that reservoir anymore. Or not running nutrients yet, obviously. But right now, it's sucking up into here and here only. And when I need to add water or top off, all I gotta do is open that up. Dab pump. Powers through this. The DSP-1 controller, adapter. Uh, check your amperage. Probably went way overkill on this pump. Um, but that's not plugged into there yet because none of the settings are done. Our 20 full for, uh, 24 volt circuit is tied into there. And then the two solenoid valves that will be opening and closing once the Aqua X is connected and timed out, will be uh, turning themselves on. See there, there was a pump right there. Our pressure is pretty high right now, but we also got a lot of water in both these tanks. Uh, and I probably left the solenoid open, which is why that just turned on. That's it so far. Yo, thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you like this, and if you haven't yet, we got the merch for all sizes. There's the website right there. Link is in the bio, Instagram. Check it out. Peace. Cores are the best. Out.